Yeah, that's okay for you to record too. Okay, that's perfect. Already on YouTube too. All right, so uh, we are with Chris Garbage. I think it's, yes, that's it. Okay, uh, he is an Australian photographer and founder of Studio Ninja. Uh, I think many photographers in Portugal know Studio Ninja, or they should, uh, because we're constantly talking about it. But uh, if they don't know, you will present it uh, and talk a little, bit, a little bit about yourself too. Uh, who is Chris Garbage? Good. Um... Good pronunciation of my name uh, here yeah. in Australia. No one knows how to how to uh, pronounce Garbach. They are like Garbax, Garbage, Gar, all these other funny things. So thank you for pronouncing my name. Hundred percent. Good job. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so um, would you like me to tell you guys a little bit about Studio Ninja and what it is? Um, well, uh, I wonder if I start with the backstory. Well, first of all, Student Ninja, for those of you that don't know, it's a photography business app that um, about 30,000 photographers all over the world are using to run their business. It is an app for the web and for your mobile phone, uh, which you use to manage all of your leads and your clients and your shoots and your invoicing and quoting and your contracts and all of your business admin, your workflows. Uh, online booking now as well. Uh, it's an app that you use to basically run your business from the admin side. So we're not a gallery software, we're not a website software, we're a, an admin software. So we manage the admin side of your business and make it very, very easy and automated. And um, we save photographers a lot of time. So normally you'd be doing all this stuff manually. I'm not sure if uh, well, me personally, my personal story, I've been shooting weddings for 17 years now, 16, 17 years. And um, here in Australia and New Zealand, and I've done a few weddings around the world. <clears throat> and some of you may relate to this story. To this story. Um, you know, when you're starting out, you're not very busy, so no problem. You're kind of learning. You've got 10 weddings or 20 weddings or, you know, you sort of... Um, I mean, I'm not saying it's easy because you're learning a lot of things, but managing, you know, 10 weddings is um, still fairly manageable. But as you get busier and busier, the admin side of things seems to creep up and you start getting a bit stressed because you have to email different people, follow up with different things, chase contracts. And um, that's exactly what was happening for me. As I was getting busier and busier, I found myself starting to forget things like chasing payments for a wedding because, um, you know, as I was sort of getting busier, it's like 30 or 40 or 50 weddings, I'm suddenly chasing payments 150 times a year and chasing contracts. And oh my, oh my gosh, even when I started, I used to send contracts by mail. So uh, that was horrible. And even after that, sending by email was difficult because the client would have to print it and sign it and scan it and send it back. So all these admin problems started occurring in my life and it was causing quite a bit of stress for me. So I asked some friends, hey guys, I'm getting really busy. Should I hire someone to do my admin for me? And they're like, no, 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 no. Just go and use uh, a studio management software. <clears throat> like, oh, I never knew that existed. So I did some Googling. And then I ended up uh, trialing at the time all, all the studio management software that was available. Um, and the problem was I personally just found them uh, this is personal opinion. I found them to be very difficult to learn, very difficult to set up. Um, it wasn't very intuitive. Like I didn't really know how to navigate properly. Um, it was overly complicated. Um, and again, personal opinion, some of them were just very ugly and I didn't want to use them because they were like ancient and prehistoric looking. But I settled on one of them and it was okay for a while. <clears throat> and then one day I was driving to a wedding and as I'm driving to the bride's house, <clears throat> oh no, sorry, one quick side story. Um, there was one day where I uh, I had a wedding that was about one and a half hours drive from my house. And it was a okay. Saturday morning and um, I was kind of had a bit of a, a, a rush that morning, had breakfast quickly, I got to go, I got to go. So I, I ran out of the house, I put the stuff in the car 
and I drove an hour and a half and I was listening to like good rock music and I was ready to like, I got there on time and I had a really cool couple and I was just excited to photograph this wedding because it was a, a cool couple in a cool location. And uh, about five minutes before I'm supposed to start, I get out of my car, I open the, the, the back of my car and I realized boot is empty. I left my camera bag at home. So I'm like, oh my. Oh my God, so I'm quickly, like the first time ever, this is, I mean, this is like a thing you have nightmares about as a wedding photographer. I'm like, what am I gonna do? I have to drive an hour and a half home and then an hour and a half back. I'm gonna miss the groom coverage. I'm gonna miss the bride coverage. I'll barely make it back for the ceremony. I'm like, oh my God. So I quickly texted my wife and like, Mayday, Mayday, can you please put the babies in the car, put my camera bag in the car and drive to the bride's house and I'll meet you there. So she's like, cool. So I'm like, okay, I'm at the groom's house. What do I do? I knock on the door. The groom answers. I'm like, man, I got bad news, but it's all good. Like, like I've had this crazy morning and you wouldn't believe it. I've left my camera bag at home. Honestly, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm here now and I've got my phone and we're going we're gonna to do it, man. We're going to get through it. And the groom's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, I know. I know it sounds crazy, but it's going to be fine. And he looked at me for a second and he goes, all right, cool. Come on in. And like, it was just so lucky that this groom was a cool dude. And he's like, make sure the camera's at the bride's house. Cause I don't want, like, I don't want to deal with that drama, but at my house, it's fine. So apart from, apart from dealing with the embarrassment of having to photograph a portion of the wedding with my phone and having all the groomsmen laugh at me all day, I got through it and the day was a success. And that was actually, I got home that night thinking, that was that was just before I got um, the studio management software of one of the competitors because I'm like, I can't keep. I'm forgetting contracts. I'm forgetting payments, and now I'm forgetting my camera bag. Like this can this can no longer happen. So yeah. I ended up settling on one of um, one of the studio management software that was available at the time, and it was okay. I used it for a few years, and then I was driving to a wedding one day, and um, I just sort of realized that I'm only using about. 10 or 20 percent of this app and the rest is kind of noisy and clutter and confusing i'm not using all that stuff and um maybe i can build something that's really easy to use intuitive works the way my brain works easy to navigate easy to set up it just works like a photographer is supposed to work and that was the day in 2015 that i decided to start studio ninja Okay. So I uh, started planning with my, um, well, I pretty much, what I did was I went to Facebook and I told all the groups that I was in that I, I wanted to build this cool thing. And a hundred people ended up uh, saying, it sounds great and giving me a little bit of, a little bit of money to help me get started, which was really cool. And then um, I met my business partner who was sharing an office with me. He's a designer and uh off we went we started building ninja so that was uh in th mid 2015 and we um we spent about seven months building version one working really hard getting excited and uh stupid me i thought awesome we're gonna launch this thing <laughs> millions of people are gonna use it and i'm gonna go to bali i'm gonna retire and i'm gonna sit on a hammock and drink pina colada and um relax for the rest of my life. But what actually happened was uh, we launched it in February of 2016 and I told the world about it and one person subscribed. So we had one subscriber in February of 2016. Like, oh my gosh, okay, so we keep working, we, we become friends with this subscriber and then in March we have three new subscribers. We become friends with those guys, we learn, we keep building, we keep growing and then there's seven and then there's 15 and then there's 30, and then there's 50, and then there's 100, and then there's 1,000, and then there's 10,000, and just keep on working month after month. I mean, I'm a photographer, so I know what the system needed, but also getting the feedback from everyone, yeah. becoming close with our customers um, through our in-app chat, on the phone, in our Facebook group, listening, learning, continuing to improve on a regular basis, um, either adding new features or improving existing features. And uh, here we are today. So it's eight years later and um, things are going very well. And 
And nothing's really changed. We continue to listen to our customers. We continue to put out features. We continue to make improvements, and um, just on a slightly bigger scale. But um, I never really thought it would. You know, sometimes you just can't see that far ahead. So I kind of thought, uh, you know, maybe we get a hundred people and we make their life better, and that's kind of that's as far as I could see at the time. And then we got there, and people liked it, and we kept building it and building it, and it's been this amazing journey. So it's yeah. um. Sometimes in the day to day, uh, well, personally, I find you kind of get busy in the day to day stuff, and sometimes I forget the impact we're making. And then it's so nice when, uh, well, I have calls like this, or um, we get testimonials from our customers, or videos from our customers saying things like, Oh my God, Chris, you just don't understand. Like, your software has saved my marriage. I was so busy and grumpy with my admin. That I was neglecting my family. I didn't have time to play with my kids. My husband and I were fighting all the time. And because now Studio Ninja does everything, it's like my marriage is repaired, and I'm so, I'm so happy. So when I hear stories like that, or like you know, now I've got more time to play with my children. Now I've got more time to do whatever, shoot more, do more marketing, or spend time with family and friends. Whatever it is, when I hear those stories, it's really nice to. Uh, to be reminded, like I, I know we're building it to help people, but it's nice to hear it, and um, yeah. it feels good. And that's kind of a good motivation to continue growing and continue putting it in the hands of more people, because then they they can really it can really help their their life and their business actually, because then they can spend more time doing marketing and grow the business rather than wasting their time writing the same email over and over again or chasing payments or all this really boring mundane things which can and can and should be automated and then they have more time to do other things um and also sometimes this admin and business stuff can really take the fun out of being a photographer especially because photographers are creative people and they're artists and they you know they kind of got into the the business of photography to be creative and shoot and create this art right but then you know the reality is you can spend 90 percent of your time doing admin and and just doing all the paperwork yeah, and for sure. <laughs> uh, so we're trying to, trying to solve that problem so it's been a cool journey and um yeah here we are chatting today so yeah i think it's really amazing uh, i used studio ninja for about three years uh, i worked uh, as engineer for 10 years and uh, during these 10 years i already uh, did some weddings uh, and other works as videographer so it was like stepping into a ring and getting punched every minute of your life because you have two, two jobs and it's yeah. impossible to, to manage that. Uh, and uh, in the pandemics, uh, 2020, uh, my, my work as engineer has decreased a little bit. So I, was start, I started working uh, at home. And then I, I thought, okay, let me see what, what else can I do to improve my business, uh, my photography and video business. And I tested a lot of uh, tools, a lot, a lot of CRMs. Uh, but then I found Student Ninja, and, and uh, it is really user friendly compared to to another. Uh, and it's like, yeah, like you said, it's it was created by a photographer for photographers. I think it's not only for photographers nowadays, uh, because everybody who, who use who has a, um, a small business, small or large business, can use it. But yeah, uh, it's really op optimized for uh, photographers. And uh, one thing you said is you can get, you can, uh, yeah, you are um, sorry, you can get a lot of time back mm. when you use a, a tool like this. Uh, like I said earlier, it's 11 in the morning. Most of my colleagues are probably working and don't have time, but some of them are smart and already used to the ninja. So probably they have time and can <laughs> watch this already in YouTube. And some others might not use to the ninja who are watching them right now, but uh, are organized probably too. Yeah. Yeah. And look, sometimes we find. It's natural that um, you know if you've always been using like you know Excel and you know like like you mash up all your things, um, it can be a little bit I say daunting. But sometimes like making change can be scary. So like oh I don't really want to do it because everything's fine now and I don't really. But then you spend the half an hour, one hour learning, and it just that that one hour is going to save you so many hundreds of hours yeah. for the rest of your photography career. 
I know you're right. I do say photography because I'm a photographer, so I naturally say that. But we have, you know, thousands of videographers and then other industries. Um, I mean, in photography, it's like family portraits and weddings, et cetera, with video. Uh, it's uh, like commercial and weddings. And then we have a lot of other industries, like mainly around the wedding, the wedding market, where like florists and celebrants, um, DJs are all using Ninja too. Because it kind of we have a similar workflow, so they're finding it very useful. Yes, yes, I think it's really cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and and um, yeah. well, uh, I don't know if you want to show your demo already, or um, because because I was I, I would ask some more questions, but uh, I think it's better to ask them when you start uh, doing the this demo, no? Yeah, sure. No worries. Uh, feel yeah. anyone watching, feel free to jump in and ask questions as we go, or at the end, you can uh, make a note and we ask at the end. Um, so let's do it. So yeah, let's go. All right. Um, dun -dun -dun -dun, share screen. How do I do that? Mm -hmm -hmm. Can you allow me to do that, please? Yeah, you have in the the, the top, no, the, the the below bar. Uh, you have some some icons. One of them is like an arrow pointing up. Yeah, it's just uh, give me permission. It's saying uh, I'm not allowed. Okay, it should be. Oh, okay, yeah. There we go. Thank you. I was saying you would be co-host, but you were not. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I forgive you. All right, so uh in theory this should work let me know if you can see uh the dashboard now not yet okay <laughs> yes all right now i can't see you guys so all i can see is my screen so feel free to ask questions or whatever um as we go. All right, yeah, cool. If, so if, if i see some questions in the chat i, I can tell you uh and if anybody wants to to do them to ask something with your voice, just uh, raise your hands and I will tell Chris to to stop a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Perfect. Or if I'm going too fast, or if I have a really bad Australian accent and you can't understand, feel free to ask me to slow down or whatever. Oh, no, it's okay. Oh, uh, um, regarding this, I was uh, really nervous about this because I, I don't speak uh, English often. And sometimes you go to YouTube and see some some videos and, and think, oh, that that is a, a really horrible English. And now <laughs> I'll be adding in those lists too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you guys can understand me. So let's dive in. So pretty much every time you guys log in to Ninja, uh, you'll see a dashboard like this. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview. So menu at the top, pretty basic. Then we have just some analytics, some um, just some data about your business, how it's going uh, year on year, how much money you're making, how many shoots you've got, how many leads you've got based on what type of photography you do. Just a nice at a glance to see how your business is going. Here, which I find quite useful, you can see where your leads are coming from. So for example, if you're a wedding uh, photographer or videographer, Maybe you get your leads from Instagram, Facebook, and potentially um, wedding expos. So as your clients come in, you can track that. And then you can see, for example, uh, hypothetically, if you're getting most of your leads from Instagram and hardly any from, let's say, a trade show, for example, um, you may want to stop putting money in the trade show and put more money into Instagram or something like that. It's just very nice to see it visually and uh, graph graphically presented like this uh, to help you with your marketing and um, where your money is being spent. Then we scroll down. Here we can see the most recent leads that have come through in the system. So you can have our contact form and put it on your website. So whenever, I'm gonna keep referring to a wedding for this uh, demo, guys. So I'm just gonna yeah, keep saying, okay, yeah. whatever. so let's just say a couple, a bride and groom, whatever, have uh, put an inquiry through your website that will automatically come into Ninja. You'll, you'll also get a um, an email notification, but a new lead will appear here, and there will be a nice big green box here saying new lead. And very quickly, you can see um, if you have a double booking. So maybe I have another wedding on the same day. I've personally double booked weddings in the past before Ninja, and it's um, quite an uncomfortable 
uh, thing to have to deal with. So this way, as soon as leads appear, you can straight away see, oh my gosh, I'm not free that day. I might refer it to someone else or whatever you wanna do. And you can just sort of see the tasks you have to do for these leads. Anyway, that's the new lead stuff. Here on the right is your upcoming shoots and appointments. At a glance, you can see what shoots you've got coming up. By the way, guys, this is just a test account. So ignore these millions of dollars and all these numbers. It's uh, We're just using it as a demonstration. <clears throat> uh, obviously, you wouldn't be doing like, well, you might be uh, doing three weddings in one day or whatever. But uh, again, just a test account. Um, anyway, at a glance, you can just see what's coming up. And then one more down, you can see what money is due to you, when it's due, and if it's overdue. One of the very, very simple features, which is one of the most useful features of uh, our software is that um, once enabled, you basically never have to chase these payments. The system will automatically do it for you. So if you book a wedding today and get the deposit today, and the next balance, the next payment is due uh, in 10 months from now, you don't have to remember to do anything. The system will automatically send reminders to the couple, for example, two weeks before the payment is due. And then if they haven't paid, again, when it's due. And if they haven't paid, it'll continue to remind them until it is paid. So that very simple feature alone can save people a lot of time. And here we can see just the tasks that have to be done and if anything is overdue. And that's based on how your workflows are set up. And I'll show you more of that in a second. <clears throat> so let's just add a new lead here. I'm gonna do it manually. Um, so I'm already in the system. So I'm just gonna add myself for now. But let's just say a bride and groom maybe, or a couple have, um, have called me. So we're gonna add them in manually. So let's just say uh, Jenny and Chris's wedding, and the job type is uh, wedding, but it can be anything that you guys photograph. It could be could be flower shop, could be DJ, could be whatever. Do wedding. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys the sample uh, a sample workflow mm -hmm. that we have in the system. So one thing I forgot to mention: uh, as soon as you register for the first time. Uh, we have a 30-day free trial. So the, the, the minute that, as soon as you enter the system for the first time, we already give you a lot of free templates. We've got like email templates, workflow templates, contract templates, questionnaire templates, payment schedule templates. It's all already there for you. You can use ours, you can modify ours, or you can start from scratch. But it's nice to have it in the system just to help you get up and running. So we've got Jenny and Chris's wedding. It's a wedding, I'm gonna apply the wedding workflow. I'm going to say that I heard about Chris and Jenny from let's say a, uh, a trade show. Um, we have different languages. I'm just gonna put English for now. And let's just say this wedding is next year in September on Friday the 13th. Lucky Friday the 13th. And generally for weddings, I make them all day. But if you have a family portrait shoot or something, you can put in the hours here, no problem. Add a location if you want to, add some notes if you want to, you know, notes about this wedding. Chris and Jenny are so awesome, whatever. Bang, 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 save. So just really quickly, I'm just gonna go back for a second. Yeah. Now we can see there's a new lead here. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, I have a question in the chat. Do you want me to, to interrupt you sometimes or uh, do you want to answer those questions uh, when you when you stop the presentation? Um, what do you for prefer? For now, maybe uh, save it to the end because okay. I might actually... Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. I might automatically answer them as we go. Okay. Uh, so just, just hang on to them for now. Um, so... You just saw me do that manually. So I added a new lead doing this process manually. But if the contact form is on your website, they'll, the client will fill it in and all of that will appear here automatically. So you don't actually, you don't have to do it manually. So that's that's the two ways of adding a lead yeah. uh, into the Ninja. So once we have a lead, this is what we call the lead or job profile page. So every single one of your weddings, every single one of your shoots will have this page. And this is like a nice little neat folder of everything about this wedding. 
So let me show you how it works. The left side is the workflow. So our job in Ninja is to work through these workflows and tick, 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 call that, do this, have this meeting, send this thing, you know, accept this, send this email, send a gift, have an engagement shoot, blah, 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 blah. Tick, 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 tick. And once the wedding is finished, and once the wedding is all paid for, I click job complete, and then this wedding is finished. The other cool thing about the workflow is that it, apart from just like do this, do that, you can also automatically send emails. So for example, well, as soon as we receive the inquiry, say it came through the contact form, an automatic email can just go straight out. Or we can have a follow-up sequence. Or for example, as soon as we book the wedding, a thank you for booking email can automatically go out. So once you kind of get your head around the workflow, it can be really powerful. So if you guys, for a second, just think about the weddings that you shoot. When you really think about it, you probably you probably send the same email over and over and over and over again to every single wedding that you shoot. Most likely, there might be some small differences, but generally you're sending the same, say three or four or five emails to every wedding. Hey guys, it's time to organize a pre-wedding meeting to talk about the schedule. Hey guys, thank you so much for booking. Hey guys, yesterday's your, your wedding yesterday was so amazing. I had the best time. Um, your photos will be ready in a week or a month, whatever. Like these emails that you send, yeah. uh, in my opinion, could and should be automated to just to just so then you never have to think about it. The system does it for you. And the beauty of that is two things. One, every client receives the same awesome client journey from you. Sometimes when you get busy, you forget to send an email. You forget to do this. You forget to do that. This way, it's all it's all the same for every single client. So they all get the high level of service from you, which is great. The other thing it can do, because you only have to create the workflow one time, you don't have to send hundreds of emails. You just make it once. It actually allows you to think about providing more value to your client. So apart from just sending the three standard emails over the course of a year, hey, thanks for booking. Hey, your wedding's coming up. Hey, your wedding yesterday was great. Instead of just doing the bare minimum, you can actually communicate more often and add more value. You can um, send them inspiration. You can send them um, any, I mean, you're an expert, right? A, a couple are doing it for the first time. So you know things that they don't know. You may want to send them your preferred supplier list. You may want to send them other things. And that actually, one thing you're trying to do, in my opinion, is avoid buyer's remorse. So once someone pays you money, they're really excited. And then every day that goes by, they're kind of getting less excited. So yeah. if you can email them and give them value, and it's like, think about, Anytime a couple email you, like, you know, what are they asking? Hey, Chris, we haven't heard from you in a while. Should we organize something soon? So, like, you can preempt that and plan to answer their question before they even email you first. So you're ahead of you're ahead of them every step of the way. So a workflow and the automatic emails, it also sends automatic contracts and questionnaires, which you can use, but just just being ahead every step of the way and providing more value than all the other suppliers um, makes you more referable, makes you very professional. Um, anyway, that's just my opinion, but that's the way I use it. And um, yeah, yeah. yeah, it makes it uh, makes the client journey very nice for the client. And it also um, keeps everything consistent and it gives you an opportunity to, to provide more value. So that's how the workflows are used. On the right hand side is all the details about the wedding. So here's the, the client details. Um, we can send invoices, we can send quotes, we can send contracts, questionnaires, we can upload files, we can make notes. We uh, integrate with Shootproof and PickTime. So uh, anytime orders are made there, if you sell prints or if you sell stuff through PickTime, for example, those orders come over to Ninja. So everything's nice and organized. And we track all the emails that go out and into Ninja as well. 
So let's let's just say that uh, me as the photographer, I've um, I've spoken to Jenny and Chris, and maybe we've had a Zoom meeting or we've met in person, and we, we, we we're getting along very well. I normally end those meetings by saying something like. Hey guys, it's been so nice to meet you. If you don't mind, I might just send you a like a formal quote, just so you have my packages in your email and just so you've got it. Um, you can book me from there if you would like to, um, but I might just send that through if that's okay. And they're like, yeah, sure, no worries. So what I'll do, I'll come to Ninja, I'll come to the, the profile page, which is this, and I'm actually, in this scenario, I'm going to send them what we call a pick and choose quote. So this is this is how I do my weddings. A pick and choose quote allows you to send them different package options and different upgrades. And then you just give everything to them and they can basically pick and choose whatever they want. Um, so let me show you how it's done. We're going to send a pick and choose quote. That option is pure gold. <laughs> Sorry? That option is pure gold. Uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Use, yeah. So useful. Now, this may look like a lot. So this is a quote, right? So uh, I'm going to show you two things. First of all, to speed things up, we actually have templates. So what you can do is create the quote one time, save it as a template, and then you never have to make it again. So for example, I'll literally just do that. And now the whole quote is populated. Everything is here. Everything is here. And I literally click save and send. It takes me one second. But because you guys have never seen this, I'll do it for you manually. So let's make a new quote. The first thing we're going to do is give them an option of choosing between three different packages. So for example, uh, I might give them the option of the wedding bronze package, which includes this stuff and costs that much, for example. I also want to show them the silver package. I also want to show them the gold package. So now we have three packages here and they have to choose one of them, okay? You can also recommend one if you want and it'll highlight it. So for example, well, let's, let's recommend an expensive one. <laughs> All right, so now we have three packages. On top of that, I would like to uh, show them some optional extras, all right? So we call them products. Here, for example, I might want to also offer them uh, drone photography, for example. And I might want to also offer them um, a second photographer. And I might also, for example, offer them same day slideshow, a slideshow of their photos at their wedding reception that night. These are just examples, guys. Like, feel free to use your imagination and think about your own business, what yes. upgrades or things you could show them. These are optional, okay? But uh, this is a very easy way to make some extra money, uh, and I'll show you in a, in a second. All right, so to recap, we have three packages, and we have three additional products, which they could upgrade with. Next, we're going to add what we call a payment schedule. So, for example, uh, let's, uh, da, 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 whatever this one you would, depending how you run your business and the way that you take money, you would have your own version of this. So for example, I want 25% deposit now and the remaining balance on the wedding day. For example, I normally don't do that. I normally do it two weeks before, but, uh, the drop down for that's been deleted by my, my by my team. So, um, uh, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's fine for now, just for this example. Yeah, Essentially, okay. you, can, you can create uh, whatever, um, whenever you want them to pay, you can save that as a setting and then apply it to every single quote. So maybe you take um, one third now, one third halfway, and one third at the end. Whatever you do for your business, you can save it as a template and then it uh, applies to every single quote. Lucky last. A long time ago, I used to 
you know, I used to send a quote and then I would separately send a contract and then I would send them some questions and it was a lot of back and forth and it was a lot of wasting time for me and for them. Now what we can do, we can actually package everything together and send everything in one go. So I also would like to include my wedding contract with this quote. And also I want to include a questionnaire with this quote. <clears throat> So all that stuff I just did manually yeah. is the same as just choosing that template, which I did for one second before, okay? So I'm just showing you guys manually, but in the future, you would literally just click the template and then you've made a quote in about one second. So let's save that quote. All right, that's pretty much all the admin that I do. I click send quote, it goes out to the client, it references an email template, which is in your settings. It can say whatever you want. It can be longer, shorter. It can be more on brand. You can, um, you can you know, add more text here, whatever. Um, or you can edit the master copy so that every time you send it, it automatically grabs the master copy and you don't have to do anything. It, it already says, hi, Chris, blah, 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 done. Basically, what I'm saying is, I have put together a quote for you. You can view and accept this quote using my online booking system. Please view your quote online by clicking here. Again, it can say whatever you want, but essentially that's that's the point of this email. I want them to go and look at the quote. Yep. And obviously this would be your branding, you know, that you can see Ninja here. This would be your branding, your email address coming from you, from your email signature. It's not us, It's it's you guys. Send. So just like that, if I had used the template, I would have done all of that in about one second. Logged into Ninja, seen the new lead, clicked on it, added a quote, sent it, and it's like a five second job. So now the couple have now received that email. I'm not gonna show you my emails at the moment because I've got a lot of stuff in there, but essentially when they click on that link, uh, when they click this link, it's gonna take them to a thing called the client portal, which looks like this. Oh, can you guys see uh, this? No. Mm. Uh, share it's in, this in a new window, no? Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Here yeah, yeah, go. okay. All right, nice. Cool, so again, this will be your branding, your image, your everything, and the couple will, you know, they'll be at home, they'll see this is their, this is their place. So they're gonna they're gonna log in and they're gonna come here and be like, cool, all right. So Chris has three packages. Hmm. All right, this one's a bit too expensive for us. I think maybe we'll go for this one. No, 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 no. Maybe oh, we've got to save some money. We'll go for this one. Actually, you know, it's once in a lifetime opportunity. Why not just go for the big one? Right? So they're gonna choose one of them. Then they're gonna scroll down and they're gonna see some extras. Oh my gosh, Chris offers drone. I've always wanted a drone. Bang, I really want that. And I also want a second photographer. Awesome, I'm so happy. That's perfect, I'll take that. And as I'm clicking and unclicking, it's automatically updating everything here, and it's automatically telling them that the deposit is this, and the final balance is this. And it's automatically, dynamically updating. So the couple have chosen this one, and you know what, it's a special day. Let's get all the upgrades very happy, ends up at almost $7,000, very good, there's the deposit, happy with everything, and they click accept. So as soon as they do that, <clears throat> we've made this client portal as idiot-proof as possible. We want it to be very, very easy for the client to book the photographer. So what happens is, as soon as that quote was accepted, a wizard kicks in and it takes the client through the journey. Thank you for accepting this quote. Next step, click here to view and sign your contract. Click. So the contract is also quite interesting because whatever the client chose, whatever package and add-ons they chose, automatically get copied over to, the, to the, the contract. So here are all the details about the business. Here are the details about the client. Here is um, the packages and the upgrades that they chose, here is when the payments are due, automatically put here from the quote page. Here are all your terms and conditions, blah, blah, blah. I'm happy with everything, I confirm everything, and I sign it. Gosh. 
go. Done. Fantastic. Thank you for signing. Next step, click here to complete your questionnaire. Done. This is an example of a questionnaire. I would personally not put this many questions into uh, this stage of booking a client, but I just want to show you guys that you can have lead sources, partners' names, you can ask the addresses, you can put radio buttons, uh, you can upload files, whatever you want to know from your couples, you can ask them using questionnaires. Happy with everything, I agree, everything's great, blah, 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 next. Fantastic. So one other thing, when we first came here, <clears throat> the invoice did not exist. Right. It was only these three things. So what happened was, as soon as the quote was accepted, the invoice is automatically generated. So you guys don't have to go back and forth. It's all done in one go. So next step, next step, click here to view and pay your invoice. So they click that. So they've they've accepted the quote, they've signed the contract, they've they've finished the questionnaire. And now here's the invoice, here's what they're getting, and they can pay by whatever method of payment that you have set up in your settings. Um, credit card, bank transfer, whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> they click the button, they pay you, done. And that's, like, it's really nice that, um, you know, we've had some feedback from uh, our customers that their customers have told them that they were the easiest person to book for the whole wedding like because it was just this client portal was so useful whereas the car guy the dj guy the florist the cake maker all difficult it was a lot of back and forth but i would get feedback that the photographer was the easiest person to book which is really cool so let me just take you back to the ninja side for a second so that's the client side i'm going to take you back here uh share this tab <clears throat> so one thing we've noticed that lead that I created is now, it's not here anymore. Before, when I created it, it was living in the leads tab. So in the leads tab are all your leads. So these are the people that have sent you inquiries through your contact form um, or the online booking system, or you've put it in manually. And your job as the business owner and as using Ninja is to move the leads, move these guys from here into here from there into there. So that actually happened automatically. As soon as Chris and Jenny accepted the quote or signed the contract or paid the invoice, the lead disappears from here and automatically appears under the jobs page. Yep. So here we can see how are the jobs progressing? Is it a wedding? Is it a headshot? What task do I have to do next? So if I search Chris, Looks like I'm getting married to a lot of different people. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think it's this one, next September, this one. Yep. <clears throat> All right, so just to finish this demo up, um, a few things have changed now. So we're back in that profile page where everything about this wedding lives here. We can see the workflow is a bit different now. We're no longer in the lead stage. So any remaining tasks are now not here anymore. All gray, gray, gray. and We've progressed into the next stage, job accepted. And the beautiful thing is, in about 55 minutes, an email will go to Jenny and Chris saying, thank you so much for booking. Amazing. I'm so excited. Here are the next steps. And the, and the automation kicks in, and the workflow does all the different things that it has to do, like communicate with my couple. And here on the right, we can see that an invoice has been generated. That's how much is due. We can see the quote was accepted. We can see the contracts are here. The questionnaire is here. We can see the email has been sent. And everything about this wedding lives here. And it's nice and neat and tidy. So let's just say that Jenny and Chris have paid me, paid the deposit um, by bank transfer or by cash. So what I would do, I would log into Ninja. And I can do one of a few things. I can scroll down. I can find, uh, oh, these ones are already overdue. So I can go to the job. I can search Chris and Jenny's wedding, which is here. The payments live in invoices. Yeah. So I'll just go to the invoice and I can record the payment here. 
this payment I received with cash, record. The other thing I can do is log into Ninja and I can go to payments. And here I can find, it's due in five days. So again, here, there it is. Again, this is a very busy demo account. So uh, ignore the fact that there's quite a lot of things here, but essentially you'll find Jenny and Chris and record and record and done. And if I didn't do that, the system will automatically send reminders when the payment is due. So that one was due in five days. So in five days, it'll say, hey, Jenny and Chris, you have a payment due on X date of this much. Please click here to pay so that you're never chasing payments ever again. So that's, let me quickly show you the settings just so it's really obvious. Like everything's really simple. Your currency, like everything should be very obvious. Your email settings are here. Your like, like everything is what, like whatever. So for example, yeah. um, you would go to email settings. You would, you would integrate with Google Calendar, a uh, Google uh, Gmail if you want to, add your email signature and done. You would go to uh, payment methods. And if you want to accept credit card, you can do this one or PayPal, or you can put your bank details here if you want to, really easy. If, for example, you want to add a contact form, you go to contact form, you add new form, and let's just call this uh, Chris test form. And very, very easily, I want to, for example, I want to know the phone number, I want to know how they heard about me, I want to know when the wedding is. This is a bit too long, so I'm gonna make it a bit more sideways. I want to ask them a question. Actually, I want that to be above there. Um, I want that to be there. I want to say, for example, uh, tell me about your amazing day. Right, done. And this is my contact form. I can add other stuff, a heading. Uh, if I want to, happy with that, done. Next, let's make it pretty. This is what it looks like. Maybe I want uh, a different font. I really like Indie Flower, for example. Whoa. Anyway, imagine I like this one. Um, I actually want, um, wow, that's really bad, actually. That's not just that one. <laughs> oh, whatever. Whatever your branding is, you choose your font. Maybe you want the background to be red, whatever. Wow, that looks awesome. I'm happy with that. For example, I'm obviously not, but by just joking, let's just say that's perfect. And then we go to the next step and um, we may want to say, thank you so much. We maybe want to redirect your potential client to a thank you page. And on the thank you page, maybe there's a video of you saying, hey, what's up guys? My name's Chris. Thank you so much for inquiring. I'm looking forward to, to, to chatting with you guys. Uh, check your email, I'll be in touch very soon, or whatever. Like, yeah. a, a thank you page is a very nice additional touch point where you can build rapport. So that's something that you may want to think about. As well as an autoresponder. Uh, so as soon as they fill in your contact form, you can put an auto response. I highly recommend that you don't just write, thank you for your inquiry, I'll be in touch shortly. Be creative. Let your personality shine. Say something funny, witty. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out helping grandma with her shopping. I'll I'll be back in an hour, and I'll 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 email you back once I'm back or something. I don't know. Whatever. You get the idea. Yeah. Try to let your personality shine. So once I'm happy with the form. Oh my god. Sorry guys. I can't have this red background. It makes me sick. Let's uh let's put it back there. Let's use a nicer font. Whatever. All right. Configure. Happy with everything, I click save, I grab that code, I put it on the website, and my contact form is done. You can make a contact form in like five minutes. Really, really easy. And that's pretty much it, guys. You've just you've literally in about 20 minutes learned about 80% of of what you have to do here. Um, yes. So hopefully that was quite helpful. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, I'm not yeah, sure if you want me to it's, it's so easy to use, and this is not the best example uh, because you should have uh, working time and free time. But uh, yeah. in February, I was uh, at a live show music, at live music show uh, with a friend, 
And during one song, I received an email asking for a, 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 for my for our services, and I replied. It took me about one minute or so because I just had to change the name. I already has I, I, I already have the the template. It's so easy. It's quick. And my friend said, "What are you doing? You are uh, you are replying to a client during a show." And I said, "It's just one minute. It's okay. It's yeah. it will be quick." quick. And it's perfect like that, yeah. Yeah, and it's better to do that than you know forget and then wait three days and the client has found someone else, right? Um, we've heard similar stories. Like, um, I mean, weddings are a little bit different, but sometimes people respond with a, a quote template and the, the the couple book them straight away for a big package they weren't even expecting. Yeah. So, um, really depends how you run your business, but. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're continuing to improve, but that already, you guys have already seen pretty much how you would use the system. That's 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 an overview. Um, and once you're set up, you would, everything I just showed you, you, you could do in like a minute. You log in, you go to the lead, you send them a quote, template, done. You log in, you receive a payment. And if you're, if you're linked to a credit card, like a Stripe or PayPal, mm -hmm. then as soon as they pay you, it'll automatically record the payment. Yes. It'll automatically send them a receipt. Thank you so much. And then uh, you don't have to do anything. You just log in to receive the money. And um, yeah, I mean, it's not going to do all the emailing for you, but I find any time you're emailing first, the workflow can totally do that for you. Then obviously they reply and you reply, you reply, whatever, whatever. But um, in terms of like initial initial the initial email uh throughout the year ninja can do that for you every time and um yeah so hopefully that was um it was perfect yeah helpful for you guys um i'm not sure if that ended up answering some of the questions that were building up or you want to ask them now and i'll try and answer for you yeah hey. George? Oh, okay yeah. Uh, uh, i don't oh, know oh. if uh, there was questions before hi chris hello as well um, <laughs> um yes maybe george uh, had questions before maybe i will let him he, okay, he okay. asked in the, you can go the ahead. chat you can go ahead if you want oh, okay <laughs> well uh well i i'm on the trial um of uh, studio ninja i'm liking it um it's i think it's very intuitive intuitive and um but I, I still have a, a lot of settings to do, especially because I have clients, uh, Portuguese clients and non-Portuguese clients. So clients that are, uh, uh, are from the United States or Can Canadian or even from uh, Europe. And I have to set up everything in English. I have to do uh, both uh, languages. So yeah. my questions are not really questions, are more like requests. <laughs> so I like uh, um, if, for example, the payment reminders, I know that it's not possible to have uh, for, for now in two languages, um, mm. but it would be great if, if um, there's that possibility because now I have them turned off because I mm. cannot have in only one language because I have both clients like English version and the uh, Portuguese clients. Um, wait, wait, wait. I would suggest, um, my suggestion, you're right. It, we're still trying to solve that because... Um, because I'm, I'm not going to send like in English for Portuguese clients and I'm not going to send in Portuguese for uh, non-Portuguese clients. So uh, I have really to turn that and I'm not going to change every time I have to send No, that. no, but why, I mean, this is... Hmm. Yeah. Just a suggestion. <laughs> you know, it's not like what well, I think. What I would do, because the feature is so useful at saving time. Yes. Yes. And, um, and your clients know that you're an international wedding photographer that shoots yes. U.S., Canada, and Portuguese clients. Yeah. Why don't you turn it on and just put it in English and Portuguese? Just write the same message twice. I like, think. You, you I think it will be. I think it will be a bit. Um, like they uh, they know you're international photographer, right? Yeah, I know. But, but my communication it's uh, always uh, for Portuguese. It's only in Portuguese, and for English, it's only in English. Uh, that way, they will know maybe that, uh, that it's not me and it's not personalized because 
all my workflow. It's super personalized. Um, so I, I appreciate the suggestion, but uh, I've got uh, one more. I've got one more suggestion for you. Just yeah, uh, again, yeah, personal, shoot. and everyone's it differently. <laughs> um, I also have my workflow very personalized, but I have my payment reminders not personalized on purpose okay. i want okay. it i actually in my one write hello jenny this is a this is a system automatic message okay. to let you know you have a okay. payment due okay. blah 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 because i actually don't i want them to know that a system is doing it so that they can't get angry at the system it's just like you know i obviously yeah. use software That's they cool, know too. i use software. um I prefer to do that than actually write, hey guys, just please, um, maybe when you're ready, can you please pay me? Um, um, um. That way it's just, a, it's just a generic system email that they're getting and I, and I find um, they can't, like they can't, it's it's normal. Like people using accounting software, it's just like a normal, they receive that stuff all the time. So um, I 100% agree that all the workflow, very personal, it's coming from you, but a payment reminder, it's up to you. I don't think it's a big deal. I would, I would, I would make it sound more system, um, just just to have that feature and to save you some time. But that's just my opinion. Thank you. I, <laughs> I, I do it exactly. Fun. I do it exactly the way Chris mentioned, and I think I did it because I've heard him before <laughs> mentioning this, <laughs> and I really liked. I really liked the logic behind that. They can't get angry at the system for sending them a reminder. <laughs> yeah. Because you know that some people might think it it is bothersome to be getting a reminder before the actual payment is due, right? But they can't yeah. get angry if it's an automated email and if they yeah. know it's automated. Yeah. yeah. So this so is we all do that. Report. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks. <laughs> that was it. Thanks. <laughs> All right. So George, and, you've uh, you've heard me before. God, I hope I didn't say anything stupid I, last time. I have, I have, and I've actually been on the um, on the Studio Ninja podcast as well with Sally because I'm one of the I'm also a user and ambassador here in Portugal, yes. like Joao. Yes. Uh, awesome. So I've I've been using it for a while. That's why I have a very specific question for you, <laughs> oh, which is about the uh, the conversion rates that show up when you look at the lead sources graph. And you click show all. Um, there's a conversion rate, a percentage that comes up. And I've always wondered exactly how this is calculated because um, it doesn't. Uh, when I think of a conversion rate, I think of okay, I've got a hundred leads, and I've converted ten of them into jobs. Um, so that should be ten percent. Mm -hmm but some of the numbers are not ad adding up on my side. And I was wondering if there's something else going into this calculation that I'm not seeing. Uh, great question and probably worth having offline because I just need to have a look into your account, like how okay. you set up stuff. Um, I might get our, have you mentioned this? So just so you got, everyone knows, um, mm -hmm. we do have like 24 hour support and we also have um, free one-on-one -on -one training. So for example, Philippa, if you want someone to show you around, just book a call and we'll call you whenever it's convenient for you and either help you set up your account, help you with your settings or yeah. check your stuff. So um, what I might do, uh, George, is uh, I'll reach out to Nikki, who's um, one of our support people, and I might get mm -hmm. her just to have a look at, see, have a look at it because it, it might have to do with... Um, uh, I think there's a few my, theory, my theory is that it might have something to do with uh jobs being inserted directly and not going from leads to jobs right because the conversion rate would have to take into account that there's a lead before before there's a job and i know that i've inserted some wow. jobs manually so it might be something to do with this but i would just like yeah. to know the math behind this yeah exactly so i'm glad you told me that because that's probably the reason because <laughs> that's right so it's 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 learning the conversion from a lead to a job but if you're putting in a job straight away um i'm guessing it doesn't take that one into account even though it shows me that there's a job from that lead source mm. but it's not taking it into account for the percentage I'll get my team to get in touch with you, and uh, we will give you and then share the answer with everyone, just to just so it's right. uh, it's for everyone. Uh, cool. Off my head, 
that sounds right, but I'll, I'll, get, I'll get a better answer for you and send it to you. All right, perfect. Thank you. I, uh, I was checking YouTube, and uh, I don't have any questions in on YouTube, too. Uh, if you guys have uh, some more questions, feel free to, to ask Chris, of course. If you don't, I'll just uh, answer, I have one uh, more, ask myself one more quick questions. question. I have one more quick question, which is about the online booking. Because I, I love the feature. I just want to know how soon we can get it with the extra features that have been mentioned, like the for for booking meetings with no yeah. price yeah. attached, that sort of thing. Yep. So um, I also love the feature, and I love and ex and I'm excited about the stuff that's coming because. Uh, Obviously, we've put the first version um, more sort of focused towards the family photographer, the, the portrait photographer, the pet photographer, um, the ones that do mini sessions. And I'm very aware that all the wedding photographers, including myself, are waiting for the appointment booking, as well as the ability to book extra shoots, for example, engagement shoots from within a job or lead. So um, <clears throat> we are currently building. Um, Essentially, we can't build everything at once. So yep. we're very quickly having a break from online booking and we're actually building a multiple tax rates feature. So everyone that lives in a country where they take, uh, like in Australia, we have one tax, 10%, that's it, that's everything. There are thousands of users who live in countries that have multiple taxes or different taxes or like, you know, um, it's 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 10% uh, for this and 12% for that, or it's, it's whatever. So, yep. Um, we have quite a lot of demand because that's creating uh, a lot of wasting time. So um, we are building that now. That's going to be launched uh, next as a as a major release. So then everyone in the world can use everything properly for all the accounting. Um, and then we're going to dive back in and build what you're describing, what I'm saying. So the ability to book appointments either for a job or lead yeah. or straight from no one so like someone can come to the website and book an appointment without even inquiring first so that's another way you could run it yeah. if you want to mm -hmm. or that's right send an appointment uh calendar to your lead to book a meeting or uh, an album design or book or an their, extra shoot their engagement <laughs> session something like that yeah that would be great exactly. so that's going to happen yeah. after tax rates and to be completely honest uh it's probably uh like six ish months um to All kind right. of like it's it's uh i, I, I found a way around this i found a way around this already because i i set up like a, a session for zero euros mm. so like i basically did the setup uh that i i was using it for example to gather uh signups for a, a photography workshop that i did <laughs> and if people just wanted to get the info about the workshop i gave them a link there was only one option. The cost was zero, so people could sign up and get the info anyway. So that would be a way to get around it for these six months. But yeah. I, I'm hopeful for those updates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am too, to be honest. Um, uh, I wish I could click my fingers and it would all be there. But essentially, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, if you think about it, we're sort of like rebuilding Calendly into ninja and they've spent yeah, yeah, yeah. 15 years building calendly and we're trying to like do it as quickly as possible it is, so it is a complex thing i understand that it's difficult and but but we're, we're very excited by it like the, the multiple taxes that and then we've got other like uh in-app notifications um better search like there's lots of little other things coming it's it's, it's non-stop man it's exciting but i wish it could be faster i so want it to be faster but uh you know it just takes time to build um, it, well, the whole process is quite time-consuming. There's uh, design, there's testing, there's beta testing, there's back and forth, there's improvements, there's more beta testing, development, launch. It takes, takes a while. Yeah, but but that's what that's one of the interesting things about uh, Studio Ninja because you really listen to the to your customers. Uh, when you go to your to the Facebook group every day, there are lots of feature requests, and some make sense, and some others might not make sense today but you really note it and try to develop it's really cool that way yeah yeah and the beta testers have been um you know often i'm like can we just launch the thing and you and uh the other the other co-founder it's like no man we need beta testers 
I'm like, oh, what are they going to know that I don't know? And then we'll get the beta testers and they give us so much valuable advice. Like, oh, I didn't think about that. And oh, that, that's a really good idea. So then maybe depending what we want to do, we'll, we'll build that stuff or fix that thing or improve that thing before actually launching it to everyone. Yeah. Um, I mean, make a decision on the, on the fly. But um, yeah, in, involving our users in the process has been uh, fun and gets them involved, gets them excited, and it actually has made our product much, much better. So uh, that will continue. Yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. And I, I'll just uh, say, so uh, you wrote a book uh, about Studio Ninja, which is really great. Uh, it's this one. Uh, if if you guys want, you can you can buy. I think you it is already it is uh, still possible to buy this one. Yeah, and yeah, I am yeah. still mesmerized today. How uh, a little book like this has so many valuable sources and info. Uh, it's like it's not properly about Studio Ninja. It's like a marketing book, but directed to photography. Uh, I I have books in my shelf, big books about marketing, but there are lots of things I don't want or don't need. And this one is okay. That's me. That's my life. Uh, you you say some things, I read and, and think, okay, that's me. Uh, I have passed this, uh, I have this obstacle and it's really cool, really great. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm a terrible writer. So I just like wrote and wrote and wrote all my experiences and how I became. <laughs> oh, it's really simple I... and easy to understand. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a product of COVID, actually. Everyone had their own little projects during COVID. So uh, for a long time, uh, me and Ewan wanted to download everything. Because we, we speak to photographers every day. We learn a lot of things a lot of, from, from a lot of smart people. So it's nice to uh, kind of capture all that and download it into a book. So I'm glad you're enjoying it. Hopefully, you get something out of it. Yeah, COVID brought us some good things, too. <laughs> yeah, A little bit. Yeah. Awesome, that's, guys. I appreciate awesome. your time. Thanks for everything. Um, yeah, that's so I'll good. Just, nice I'll, I'll just share a, an image. That's my only job today, <laughs> uh, which is my ambassador code. And uh, of course, I I want to thank everyone for watching and for for questions. You you can and should. Uh, schedule a meeting uh, with Student Ninja for, uh, I think it's one hour, right? Uh, to help you uh, set up your, uh, your accounts? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, there's one hour time slots, but it's, yeah. a, it's a free session and you can have as many as you like. Um, so, you know, some people, um, well, in general, some people need less help, some people need more help, and that's absolutely fine. We don't charge for anything. We're happy to help anyone that needs it. And um, some people have scheduled one call, some have scheduled no calls, which is fine, and some have scheduled 10 calls, also fine. So um, whatever help you guys need, we're happy, you know. I don't know if it's like an Aussie thing, an Australian thing, but we're just, um, maybe I knew how much of a struggle it was for me a long time ago. So, um, you know, we're affordable, we're helpful, we give templates, we help, uh, you can chat with us in app whenever you want. Schedule a call with us for free anytime you want. Um, yeah. If you don't like it, let us know. We'll refund your money. No big deal. <laughs> not even ask questions. So I'm being serious. Like, you know, if you don't like it, it's fine. Just uh, let us know. Like, no dramas. Yeah. And you usually respond, uh, reply really quick. Uh, sometimes I have uh, some doubts and uh, use the in chat. Uh, in chat? Uh, and uh, Nikki, or uh, I think it's Yan, and I don't know if yep. it's Yan you say, but uh, they, they replied to me about 30 minutes or one hour. Sometimes I think they aren't even in their working hours. So yeah, it's really amazing. So well, actually, you guys like are very, very helpful. It should be like five minutes. I'm going to go talk to them and uh, <laughs> they need to speed things up. But they yeah, do get a little bit busy sometimes, yeah. Uh, and uh, you uh, you have uh, one month free to test, like Philip yeah. is doing right now. Uh, yeah. You have one month to test everything. I, I understand it isn't easy sometimes to set up, not because of the, the tool or because of Studio Ninja, but to, sometimes we have to think for ourselves, what do we do in our business? Uh, how can we how can we do something like, uh, I don't know, uh, physically to, to digital? And it's a really great job too, because 
when you think of that, you can refine some of your actions. Uh, so yeah, I understand it isn't easy because of that. Uh, we too have three companies, di different companies, and I have Studio Ninja for, for those because of the master plan. And uh, I have set up just one company for now because sometimes I don't have time, but uh, it will be, it is in my list to, to upgrade all the setup for the other companies because we do newborn shootings for the family shooting, uh, weddings, uh, now commercials. So it's a lot of things and different workflows, but uh, well, one thing at a time. <laughs> yeah, you guys are busy, amazing. Uh, yeah. And actually, I'm glad you said that. I, I, I forgot to mention that. Like, sometimes starting from scratch can be, I don't know, like therapeutic or like, like, like a, a nice fresh start. Like sometimes you've been running a business and something's getting bogged down or you're overcomplicating things or you don't really realize. So when you go through the settings, it actually just makes you think for a second, do I really need to have this much stuff or can I simplify it? Or, you know, let's start these email templates from scratch and a new fresh look. And um, I don't know, it's like, it's like I find a lot of people uh, have said like the setup process, um, what they thought would be daunting was actually quite enjoyable because they got to rethink how they run their business and kind of fine tune it and improve it compared to how they were doing it before. So what you said was 100% yeah. correct. Yeah, because we, we are on autopilot most of the times. So we do this every day and don't think or very, very much of it. It's just autopilot. And when yeah. you need to to change and start doing uh, your setup in a new tool, yeah, you have to really think better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, on, the, the agenda, the calendar is synchronized to Google Calendar. I think you didn't uh, say that, but it's really cool. Uh, so you don't have to, to insert again in the, the Google Calendar. It's automatically. Yeah, that's really, really nice too. Yeah, um, there'll be some upgrades coming to the calendar also in the future. Um, new look, year view, syncing both ways. So more and more stuff's coming. Yeah, okay, okay. That's nice to know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the stops. Awesome. It was a, a great talk. Uh, thank you for your time, Chris. Uh, I know it isn't the best time for you, but uh, right. the difference uh, is really great. Nine, nine hours, I think, uh, from Portugal to, to to Australia. But thank you very much for, for being here and uh, showing uh, this uh, amazing tool you have created. Awesome, guys. Nice to see you all. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you ever need any help or anything, um, I mean, you can find me on Instagram, just Chris underscore Garbax, or reach out to my team. When you're using Ninja, just chat to us. We'll help you with whatever you need. Um, if you are coming to Ninja from a different software, let us know, and we'll migrate your data for you for free. So just, t just chat to us, and we'll help you out. OK, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Obrigado, Shum. Obrigado, Felipe. <laughs> thank you. Uh, on on uh, off topic, do you know Pliny? Uh, you you talk about uh, rock rock music. Uh, you were you were to do to a trip uh, for a wedding and you listen uh, to rock music. I was listening to Queen. Oh, okay, and, uh, okay, uh, yeah. Because <laughs> I, I have a T-shirt today from Pliny. He's Australian, so I thought you might uh, know him. He's really great. No, I have an like I'll I'll, uh, I'll Google him now as I'm uh, go to the gym now. I'll put him on and I'll. <laughs> yeah. <listen> to Pliny. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Awesome, guys.